with the Mandalorian show being such a big hit now, with season 2 coming very very soon, it kinda triggered a memory that I actually have something in my collection and true enough, after going through the storeroom, I found this guy in my storeroom. This is the Bandai's movie realization series of the Star Wars. So basically, it's all the Star Wars characters but reimagined in traditional Japanese samurai, oni and warriors uh, team in terms of the treatment of how the characters look. Um, to be very frank, in terms of the finishing and design and detail, this figure actually has it all, right? And that is one of the reasons why I actually paid top dollars for this figure. But surprise, surprise, I was actually very, very disappointed with this figure because I actually have very high standards and expectations when it comes to a Bandai figure because you are paying a premium for a figure at this size. What I didn't know uh, when I was unboxing and trying to film this guy yesterday this figure actually has quite a lot of issues. In terms of articulation, well, great articulation, but in terms of the joints, they are pretty weak. Really weak in terms of um, the, the hands, the torso, the knees, and especially the feet. So trying to post Ronin Boba Fett here for this video, it was such a frustrating experience i just didn't want to go through it again i pretty much give up halfway as you can see there even the torso keeps popping out uh, while i was trying to just pose it even a little bit slightly um, the other issues that i have with this guy was also in terms of the accessories uh, as you can see here this is a shift for the samurai sword while trying to put in the samurai sword onto the shift itself as you can see here it just will not go in you actually have to forcibly push it really hard to force it in and by doing so you actually damage and scratch the silver paint on the samurai sword so i was like wtf how could this be a figure coming up from bandai out of everybody else i just couldn't expect this level of bad quality coming from bandai so all in all to be very frank i paid top dollars because i really love how ronin boba fett looked like even though i'm not a big uh, star wars fans but I paid for it, but I was really disappointed with the end result. And as you can see here, the backpack trusses also keeps falling off throughout the entire course of me feeling, filming this video. So, uh, it was just such a frustrating experience. So, for me, to be very frank, uh, not a big fan of Star Wars, but I love these figures, the way it looks. And that was one of the reasons why I actually bought it. But I would not recommend any one of you to buy this. There is another one coming up very soon from Bandai with the same series and that is of course Django Fett. Uh, given my experience with this guy, to be frank, I think I will stay very far away from this series. The weak joints, uh, you know, how all the parts do not fit very well, the accessories, I will just give it a skip for now. So this is our review of the Ronin Boba Fett. Definitely do not buy this figure even if you get it on cheap, right? So if you guys are a big fan of Star Wars, do let me know if any one of you actually collect this movie realization series. Okay, so thank you for watching and we hope to see you guys very, very soon.